guys welcome back to the channel another dodgy review of another dodgy product this time it's optimus prime lego set from aliexpress okay so the details of this one are the official lego set costs 160 quid and although it's currently 130 um in a sale the aliexpress cost including taxes and delivery was 29 pounds 28 which saved me about 130 quid on the original price again so it's brilliant this wasn't a set I was actually going to get. Um, my brother, who collects official Lego sets, uh, got this and did recommend it to me. Um, and I did have a bit of a space up on my uh, action figure wall above my desk. So I thought, why not? And I do like the Transformers. So I've got Soundwave uh, action figure up there already. I thought this might be a nice piece to kind of complement that. So we ordered it. Bloody hell, this is some time ago. So we ordered this one on the 24th of November last year. We're currently in... Why well, is the 31st of March? So I've taken some time to review this one. Um, so yeah, ordered it on the 24th of November, turned up on the 20th of December. This is one of the sets that we ordered, um, got shipped almost immediately and put on an aeroplane within a couple of days. And it just sat in UK customs for some time, which it happens. I say uh, this, this could have been a one week set, but it actually turned into almost being a month. Um, and obviously you've still got the to kind of consider the fact that it was the build-up towards Christmas, so it was about four or five days before Christmas it actually got delivered. Delivered in a white jiffy bag, uh, as most of the smaller sets do. Some of the bigger Technic sets turn up in boxes with bags inside. This was just a jiffy bag with loads of little bags inside. Um, all the bags are numbered, which is brilliant. Uh, I put a note here, probably the best organised set uh, we've had. So sometimes when you get numbered bags with the AliExpress sets, you cannot believe that the parts that you want are in that bag. Most of the time, what you have to do is you, let's say you're in bag two and you're searching for a part and you can't find it, have a quick scan through the other bags and borrow it from that bag because by the end of the actual whole set, it will have evened itself out. The only set that didn't really happen with was Bugatti. Um, because that was missing quite a few pieces, but where that was my third big Technic set, I had spares, and I really like the little connector pins, but without those, you can't build the set. So yeah, this one came quite well. Um, what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a montage as I was building it. Uh, I think I built it in one evening. It's not a massive set, um, and you can transform it. I'm not gonna do it on camera, because it's a bit of a ball ache, but what I'll do is, um, I'll run through it, then I'll, transform it and we'll kind of kind of cut to that point. So here's the montage of me building it. Okay, right, so as you can see, it went over quite well. Like You have got some of the AliExpress tolerance issues. So there are, like the fingers do come off quite easy. So again, this isn't a set to be played with. This is the thing with AliExpress. It's more of a display thing. I, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever kind of give this to a kid to play with or to build just because you, it is frustrating sometimes where some of the, um, like the, what are they? The little lugs on top that you kind of connect to. They're, they're either too small or a little bit too big and you do have to kind of either some use quite a lot of force or sometimes you put a piece on, it just instantly comes off. So then you've kind of got to become creative with regards to using a different piece or something like that. So definitely worth to consider. Um, as you can see from the video, it kind of came, came out quite well. You get all the accessories, you get his power hammer, Energon cube, I think, and then he does open up. I think, uh, yeah, the all spark is in there. So, what I'm going to do is now, um, 
Oh, actually, no. Then So we've got a sticker, sticker sheet. The only thing that bothered me is some of the red, the stickers, don't match the, um, the actual colour of the bricks. And again, on the grey on the legs. I think, is it there? Yeah. On my brother's one, the official one, which I'll post a picture of now, I'll put them both by side by side. You'll see that the colour of the stickers doesn't match the colour of the actual plastic, which, again, doesn't really bother me because I know I've saved 130 quid and it's just going to go and live up on the shelf and that's where it'll stay. I say none of my sets will ever be sold on uh, as Lego or anything like that. Um, so I say I'm under no, I'm not hiding it from anyone. I, I have fake Lego sets just because if anyone walks in, asks about the Lego sets, they're all fake, they're all from China, you can get them so much cheaper. Uh, so what I'll do is now, I'm going to quickly, quickly transform him um, and then we'll show you in his lorry status. Right, okay, so there it is changed. I hadn't done it in a few months and it is an absolute ball lake. <laughs> it's not something I would recommend doing daily. Uh, we did lose a finger or a thumb off of him as we were doing it, but I couldn't be bothered to put it back on. Um, so as you can see, it does change quite well. It's, it's that transition from changing to from the robot to the truck. Um, so we did get a few spare pieces, nothing major. Um, and odd, oddly, they gave me stickers for the wheel rims and for some other bits and bobs, but they came as printed pieces instead. So I think that might have been an upgrade in their kind of manufacturing process. Um, just because, I so it quite confused me when they turned up. Like you get his eye pieces as well, his eye piece as well. But again, that's a printed piece now. It's not an actual sticker. So I'm not going to change it back. I'm just going to leave it as it is for the time being because I can imagine it's going to get thrown across the room if I have to do that again anytime soon. Um, but again, would I recommend it? Of course I would, guys. It's, so I, I don't think I found a Lego set from AliExpress yet, though. I haven't. Um, so this, again, when I build this back into Optimus and put him up on my shelf, it will just live up there next to the Falcon and some other action figures. Uh, and that's where it will stay. Um, I say I definitely recommend it, guys. It did take a fair bit of time. It took a month to come. But you can't really moan, really, when you're making that much of a saving. So what we've got is we've got a couple more videos to record today. Um, and if, if, say, if you have any questions or any requests or any anything like that, just put it down below. I do like kind of interacting with you guys. Uh, I do try and help out as much as possible when it comes to helping people purchase stuff on aliexpress like finding shops and stuff like that can't always give you the same ones i use because they close so quick and then they just open up with a new name it's kind of hard to keep track um but i do try and help so what i'll do is if you guys are interested just let me know uh in this one and i'll see if i can find the shop link for you i just looked into that light i can barely see um but yeah, no, I definitely recommend it, guys. Any questions, anything like that, please just put it down below. And thank you very much for watching, guys.